This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, 2nd March 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. President Muhammadu Buhari has urged Nigerians to get more interested in working with security agencies to tackle the myriad of challenges facing the country. At the opening ceremony of Alumni Association of the National Defense College, the president also extolled the courage and bravery displayed by security agencies and service chiefs in promoting peace and order. President Buhari says his administration has put in place measures to adequately support the armed forces of Nigeria and other security agencies with more and equipment boosting manpower and financing their operations in and outside the country. Meanwhile, President Buhari has led for Kenya to participate in the commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the United Nations Environmental Programme scheduled for 3rd and 4th March 2022. He'll then be off to London for two weeks for medical checks. The Nigerian Senate has approved financial autonomy for state legislatures, judiciary, and local governments in the country. This came during voting on Senate Committee Review of the 1999 Constitution Fifth Alteration Bills 2022. Senators during voting on the report rejected pensions for presiding officers of the legislature. They also rejected bills to override presidential veto in constitution alteration and ordinary money bills. Meanwhile, both chambers of the National Assembly voted against the a bill seeking to provide special seats for women in the national and state houses of assembly. Despite the presence of the wife of the vice president, Dolakwa Shibajo, who says the defeated bill is not the end for the agitation for women inclusion, while the Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talon, described the vote as a show of shame. The Lagos State Government is set to begin work on the deepest seaport in sub-Saharan Africa come June. Governor Babajide Songwolu revealed this at a stakeholders meeting on Badagri Deep Seaport and Free Zone Project. The gigantic project, when it becomes operational, will be the biggest and most advanced deep seaport on the West African corridor. The 12 communities and the people of Badagri commended the project with they say has been long coming since 2012 during the Babatunde Fashola administration. The governor assured them that is administration is committed to building and creating a new Lagos out of Badagri, one that will empower the indigenous and make it more international, describing the project as a multi-layered opportunity for progress. The United States of America has closed its airspace to Russian planes as the Russian military attempted to encircle and subdue Ukrainian cities with intensifying bombardments on Wednesday, seven days into an invasion that has packed massive international sanctions. Russia has shown no sign of stopping an assault that has included strikes on Kyiv and rocket attacks in the second city of Kharkiv. Dozens have been killed. Russia has failed to capture a single city since its full-scale invasion began nearly a week ago. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians have fled the fighting as a mouse long Russian military convoy north of Kyiv readies to advance on the city. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called on Russia to stop bombarding civilians and resume talks. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetola Kayode. And always remember never be afraid to give up on the good to go for the great. Have a fantastic one.